It was a dark and stormy night when I found myself lost in an eerie, unfamiliar place. I stumbled upon a narrow alley that seemed to twist and turn endlessly. The air was thick with an otherworldly chill, and the only light came from the dim glow of antique brass objects that lined the walls. I felt a strange compulsion to keep moving forward, my footsteps echoing in the silence. The brass objects seemed to watch me with an unsettling gaze, their surfaces reflecting distorted images of my terrified face. As I walked, the alleyway seemed to stretch and contract, the walls closing in on me. I tried to turn back, but the path behind me had vanished. Panic set in as I realized I was trapped in this bizarre liminal space. The brass objects began to emit faint whispers, their voices echoing in the metallic surroundings. I couldn't make out the words, but the tone was unmistakably sinister. The storm outside raged on, adding a symphony of ominous sounds to the haunting atmosphere. I reached out to touch one of the brass objects, hoping it might offer a clue or a way out. As my fingers made contact, a shock surged through me, and I recoiled in horror. The brass object had absorbed a piece of my essence. Desperation fueled my attempts to escape. I ran faster, turned corners, and tried to evade the oppressive brass objects, but they seemed to multiply, closing in from every side. The whispers grew louder, now forming a cacophony of malevolent voices that echoed in my mind. Exhausted and terrified, I collapsed on the cold brass-covered ground. The alley seemed to warp and contort, distorting my perception of reality. Shadows danced on the walls, taking on sinister shapes that seemed to mock my predicament. In the midst of my despair, a figure made entirely of brass emerged from the shadows. Its hollow eyes bore into mine, and its twisted, metallic limbs moved with an unnatural grace. The whispers reached a crescendo as the brass figure extended an arm towards me. I felt a cold grip around my soul as the brass figure absorbed the last of my essence. The alleyway melted away, and the storm outside subsided. All that remained was an empty space, devoid of life filled only with the haunting echoes of my presence, trapped within the brass objects. It was a cold, moonless night when I found myself in a place that defied all logic. I had been working late in the university science lab, engrossed in my experiments. As I prepared to leave, a sudden flash of blinding light enveloped me, and when it faded, I found myself in an unfamiliar and eerie dimension. The surroundings were dimly lit by a faint, unnatural glow, revealing a peculiar landscape. Everything around me was shrouded in a hazy mist, and a narrow pathway stretched ahead, lined with objects that seemed to defy the laws of physics. Intricate scientific instruments and peculiar contraptions, all gleaming in an odd shade of brass, filled the space. As I walked along the pathway, a sense of unease settled over me. The air felt heavy with an unknown energy and each step I took echoed with a strange resonance. I soon realized that the pathway was leading me deeper into a liminal space, a dimension that seemed to exist on the fringes of reality. Panic set in when I realized that I couldn't turn back. The pathway behind me had vanished, leaving only an endless expanse of mist. I tried to make sense of my surroundings, but the more I focused, the hazier my thoughts became. It was as if the very essence of my knowledge was slipping away. A mysterious voice echoed through the mist, whispering fragments of scientific concepts and equations. I strained to understand, but the words slipped through my grasp like sand. It was then that I noticed a peculiar brass object at the center of the pathway. It seemed different from the others, almost like a key to my escape. I approached the object and examined it closely. My mind felt foggy, but a distant memory flickered, a memory of the word brass. I grasped at the fragments of my scientific knowledge, desperately trying to recall what brass was. It felt like a race against time, as if my very existence in this liminal space depended on that elusive memory. With a surge of determination, I whispered to myself, brass is an alloy of copper and zinc. The moment the words left my lips, the mist around me began to dissipate. The brass objects lining the pathway trembled, and the unnatural glow faded away. The pathway behind me reappeared, leading back to the familiar reality of the science lab. Relief washed over me as I stepped back into the known world. The blinding light flashed again, and I found myself standing in the quiet lab, surrounded by familiar equipment. The memory of the liminal space lingered, a haunting reminder of the thin line between the known and the unknown. Late one stormy night, I found myself drawn to an old mansion that had long been abandoned. 
The tales of its eerie history only fuel my curiosity, and against my better judgment, I approach the grand entrance. The massive brass door, covered in intricate patterns, stood imposingly before me. With an echoing creak, I pushed the door open, revealing a hallway that seemed to stretch into infinity. The walls, the floor, the ceiling, everything was made of brass. It gleamed in the dim light, casting an otherworldly glow on the corridor. As I stepped inside, the door slammed shut behind me with a resounding clang, leaving me in a disconcerting silence. The hallway seemed to play tricks on my senses, distorting the space around me. An odd sensation washed over me, as if the very air was charged with a metallic energy. I couldn't shake the feeling that I had stepped into a dimension governed by the laws of metallurgy and puns. The journey down the brass corridor felt like an eternity. Each step echoed with a metallic resonance, and the occasional flickering lights overhead cast strange shadows on the walls. It was then that I stumbled upon a peculiar brass plaque with an inscription that read, This hall is alluring, but beware. The key to escape lies in the metal minds of those who dare to wander. Confused but determined, I pressed on, encountering bizarre brass sculptures and metallic oddities along the way. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, as if the very essence of the brass around me had a mischievous personality. In the midst of my journey, I stumbled upon an ancient-looking brass doorknob. As it turned, a voice echoed through the hallway, saying, It takes brass to open new doors. The door swung open, revealing another section of the endless corridor. With each passing moment, the puns and metallic references became more pronounced. I couldn't escape the feeling that I was trapped in a surreal fusion of metallurgy and wordplay. At one point, I even stumbled upon a random mention of the NVIDIA RTX 4090 etched into the brass walls, a bizarre nod to the technology of an entirely different realm, and a message to post it in the comments if anyone is even still listening at this point in the video. As I delved deeper into the brass labyrinth, the puns grew more ominous. Whispers of metallurgically challenged and forged in fear surrounded me. It became clear that my only way out was to decipher the cryptic messages hidden within the metallic maze. At long last, after what felt like an eternity of puns and metallic confusion, I reached a final brass door. With trepidation, I pushed it open. And to my surprise, I found myself back at the entrance of the mansion. The storm outside had subsided, and the brass door stood ajar. I stumbled out into the night, the echoes of puns and metallurgical mysteries fading behind me. The mansion loomed in the darkness, a silent witness to the bizarre journey I had just experienced. A tale of brass, puns, and a corridor that seemed to stretch on like an endless NVIDIA RTX 4090 render.